guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I've been doing lately. I do like it to share some interior inspiration from time to time as well. So if you've been following me for a while, you might have seen some of my or some of our home DIY before and after videos. Um, as some of you might know, we bought this house two years ago now and we've been basically renovating it from top to bottom. Been renovating basically all of the rooms in the house and um, recently gave our TV lounge a bit of a rejig. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. We really wanted to create a, an area or a space down there that was a little bit more cozy. It was very white, very anonymous before. It is a lovely room though and yeah we just basically wanted to move some things around. We wanted to put some paint on the walls and just create a lot more of a Hugo atmosphere down there. Today I wanted to share the process with you, share what we've been doing and then I'm gonna give you a final tour at the end of the video. So enjoy living room currently a mess or the tv lounges anyway i've already painted the first coat of paint it's looking so much better down here already despite the mess but this color is just lovely so here is the color this is paint by um Jotun lady this one and um the color is called modern beige and yeah, it just looks like a lovely iced coffee, doesn't it? <laughs> please excuse the slightly messy state of our living room right now I've sort of tried to clear out and clear away all the toys and stuff but just gonna go through the baby gate here down the steps um, so this is our TV lounge as it looks right now and like I just said it's kind of messy and we're done painting down here we've given it two coats of paint um, and essentially what we wanted down here was to create a more warm and cozy atmosphere. It's already sort of like a, just a really cozy place to hang out. Um, usually our TV is up on that wall and then we have the couch over here. We have the curtains over here which gives a nice um, soft vibe to the room. And yeah, because there are like this tile flooring here, we really wanted to do something here to soften up the whole thing. Before it was just plain white walls and as much as I love plain white walls, I love that minimalistic vibe. I love Hugo more than anything and I feel like ever since we moved into this house and ever since we started renovating this house, which we have been doing for the past two years that we've lived here, we've actually started to become more and more fond of decorating with color not color per se like we have that blue wall in our kitchen which is definitely the most colorful area in our house we do love our neutrals and especially these more warm and calm kind of neutrals but just in general putting some paint on the walls and then sort of using that as an element for decorating is something that we've really come to enjoy um, since moving in here i think it just gives again more warmth more personality and just love it so another thing i really want to do is actually to paint this lamp i actually found a diy on pinterest on how to make this more white just like um, mixing white paint with water to just give it a nice not completely white like solid white but wider appearance i think that's going to look a lot better with this color as i think that one is a bit too yellow as things are right now same thing with our shelving unit over here which is going to go back up above the tv i think i'm going to do the same with them again just to get a more cold color um so yeah just because i think this is a bit too yellow against the beige wall i just switched into something a little bit more comfortable um, I was wearing something a bit more dressier earlier because I attended a breakfast meeting with some of the retailers or the other businesses in the city earlier this day um, and just kind of wanted to dress up for that. But now I'm just home and I'm gonna attempt removing up all of the tape down here and then probably Hoover so that we can get our TV lounge back. And I also think that 
when you redecorate like this, it's nice to take it sort of in steps like this. So we did the paint now, we're gonna move everything back in its right place. And then it's gonna be easier to see what we can sort of do with the rest of the decor to kind of make it nice and harmonious down here. So let's go. So satisfying. For now, I've hoovered the floor, I've moved the couch back in place. The walls look great, I love the color, definitely the right decision. Um, but now comes the fun part of redecorating. Um, I want to paint Oscar's staircase as well, probably in the same color, just to match those two. And um, I also need to paint those shelves in that sort of like see-through, transparent kind of white together with the lamp um, before I can continue. And actually before I can clean up the mess on the dining table up here, I will need to, to just paint the shelves. Um, Apologize for the lack of light, but it's in the evening. So we kind of only have time to finish up the project in the evenings. So I'm about to mix some of the ceiling paint with water. So I'm gonna mix half paint, half water into this one, and then I'm gonna use that for the lamp. The reason why I'm choosing to use ceiling paint is that this is more matte, um, and the paint that we have for like woodwork and stuff is a lot more shiny, and I don't really want that. I want more of a matte finish. So this is what we're going for. I'm quite excited to see how it's gonna look. Painting it in the garage, so I might just take the water with me in case I need to make it even thinner. I think actually you probably need to make this thinner than you might think. Okay, let's go macho now. guys it's now friday um we have been working on the tv lounge basically all throughout this week um and obviously we can only work on it in the evenings when the little one is put to sleep so my plans for today was to show you guys the lamp and the shelves that i ended up painting it's looking super nice i cannot wait to show you guys and just tell you a bit more in detail what i did so i've got my computer here and this is the document that i've been making um so this is a picture i found on pinterest i really like this way um of like decorating we don't have a piece of furniture like this one underneath the tv we used to have one very similar to this one, but we don't have that anymore. And the main reason for that is basically that we had nothing to store in it. We don't have a DVD player anymore. We have a smart TV. So it was, you know, purely decorative in the end. And although I really like the look of it, having decor displayed in this way when you have a one-year-old just is not gonna happen. So we're gonna ditch this part. But I really like the idea of creating sort of like a picture poster wall around the tv to sort of integrate that more and make it part of the tv wall so we're gonna attempt to do something very similar to that then i'm hopefully going to be able to find a mirror very similar to that as well 
And then I'm gonna see if I can find a lamp. This is a Nord Lux lamp. And then, yeah, gonna see if I can find some decor to match the colors down there. We're going for this color scheme right here. So this is obviously the color on the walls, the beige color. This is the sort of dark gray, dark blue color that we have on the curtains. And then the couch is gray. And then I'm thinking we're gonna have some accent colors in dark brown. So I recently stumbled upon a way to decorate with colors called the 60-30-10 rule. And basically what this means is that you can decorate your home in, you know, with confidence in different colors, but still make sure that things look nice and coherent. So I really like this way of decorating. I think it's really foolproof, even if you don't have a lot of experience when it comes to decorating. Um, some guides actually advise you to find a secondary accent color. So that's why we have that pop of brown as well, especially because we have some things down there in the TV lounge already that has that color. So I think that's gonna look really nice. It gets sort of a more masculine vibe down there. So here we have the lamp in all its glory. It's looking really, really good. I'm so happy that we decided to give it this makeover. Um, it's obviously not perfect. I mean, you can see some small like paint splotches here and there, but you know, it doesn't matter, especially because it's sort of like this transparent kind of finish. So I ended up giving it three coats, which I think is perfect because it has that white overcast that I really wanted. Um, but you can still see the fibers through the paint. So a lot less yellow now than it was before. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Cannot wait to put this up later. And then as for the shelves, um, I just need to give them a bit of sanding here. Um, we already did that on the other side. And um, yeah, I just think they're looking really, really nice. Just as with the lamp, I think that this white finish really suits um, the shelves and it's gonna suit our new TV lounge very well. So this is the current state. Uh, we had some holes in the wall up here that we just needed to cover up. So that will need to be painted again. Um, but it's because we had the shelves up here before and um, we're just really keen on moving it. So we're gonna move those over here instead. And then I bought this mirror right here. So it's a black mirror that has this strap that we're gonna, I'm not completely sure that this wall is where we're gonna put it. Um, but that inspiration picture had a similar mirror and I just think it looks super cool. And I think the black color against the um, beige just looks really, really good. So that is the plan for that wall over there. The color scheme in here is sort of like beige. We have obviously the black, we have some brown, we have the dark gray curtains. I bought a few dark gray pillows to match that color. We have a brown vase over there as well. Um, finished TV lounge. So since it is the month of December, when you're watching this video, it's already December. We have been um, decorating the house a bit for Christmas. Don't have a lot of Christmas decor down here though. It's kind of sad what we have down here, but we've mainly focused on putting up the decor up in this area um, because that is 
essentially where we spend most of the time, at least during the day. And also when we have guests coming over, we sit over there at the dining table. And, you know, so we've kind of focused all of the Christmas decor in that area of the house. And then we just have a little bit down here. Got my slippers over here. Let me just put those on, actually. Get cozy. Uh, these are from Shepherd, in case any of you are wondering. So this is the final result of the TV lounge. Ta-da! <laughs> difference as you might be able to tell there's some of the Christmas decor I just mentioned before and then we have that little guy over there and that's basically it as you can see it's not a huge difference um, mainly it is the paint on the wall I think that does the whole that makes the whole difference and it's not even a, a real color I know it's a neutral don't get me wrong um, but it's a very cozy kind of neutral I think it definitely adds some warmth to the room down here and that is what we were looking at to add. I kind of want to describe this color as, you know, it feels like when we're sitting down here now, it just feels like getting a hug. Um, so yeah, it definitely has made a huge difference just to put um, some paint on the walls, even though again, it is a neutral beige color. Um, I'll pop the name here for you on the screen. I think I've mentioned it along the way in the video as well, but just in case some of you are wondering what that color is called, it's a beautiful, warm, Beige. So I'm really, really pleased with the result of this lamp. I can hear a cat here somewhere. I think she might be under the couch, actually. Hi, Luna. <laughs> you thought I heard something. I tried to follow the 60-30-10 decoration rule down here. So I think, you know, it's a really lovely way to make sure that there's a nice coherence down here. So we've tried to repeat the, the dark gray color and the dark gray carpet that sort of ties in really lovely over here. And then obviously we have all of the beige going on. Um, we have some pups of brown as well. That one is brown. This little vase over here is brown as well. So I think we've managed to create a lovely uh, space down here where the colors are just a lot more coherent now than they were before. We added a lamp in this corner. So this one is new. It's from Nautlux. Very lovely lamp. It's the same brand that made that lamp that we have up there. So as you might be able to tell, we have some toys over here for our daughter. And then, you know, this is where she usually sits on the floor watching cartoons. So we'll bring out the mat on the floor, some of her toys as well. So that's it for this video, guys. Just something else, just a bit of interior inspiration, especially just some thoughts on creating a nice and cozy atmosphere. Um, lately, we've been really into you know, decorating our house with some paint on the walls. I feel like that always makes a huge difference. You don't have to switch up all the interiors, like all of the furniture and stuff like that. It's sometimes you can just let the paint do the talking, if you will. Um, and I really think that, you know, that is what has made the biggest difference in the TV lounge. We actually have some other areas in the house as well where I think we could do with a bit of paint sort of over just having completely white walls lately. Um, again, I just think even if you're painting with neutrals, if you choose slightly more warm neutrals, it just adds so much hygge to your house. So I am gonna leave that there. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe as well. I would love to have you around. Um, enjoy December and I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Bye guys. Thank you.